Hey, so welcome back to the part two of the migration tutorial. So in first part of this video, I've shown you how to migrate and transfer all your files to the SiteGround server and uh, make sure that everything is working on the temporary domain. And after this, now in this video, I'll show you how you can change the temporary domain to the permanent domain like it's on your old server. So um, as you can see, it's uh, my old uh, WordPress old uh, WordPress website, which is hosted on the old server is basically identically same that is hosted on the SiteGround website hosting server. And but it, the only difference is this temporary domain. So let's um, change this. For this, you have to go to SiteGround um, dashboard. From here, either you can click on this manage site option or if you have closed the screen, what you can do is go to this from here, go to website. And here you will see all the temporary domains. So this is the domain as you can see here, like uh, uh, 12. So um, select click on manage. And here you will see this options. Um, just click on this th three dots and here you will see this option change primary domain and from here enter the uh, your permanent domain like for me it's the smarthelpguides.com so I'll just copy it from here and paste it here okay and then just confirm it Make sure that this is the correct domain. Then click on confirm. If any of this interface has changed, please post in the comments and inform me. I will uh, create a new tutorial about it. So this is the this is created in 2020. So this should be the most updated tutorial about site ground migration. So and then you will say this uh, your pr new primary domain for the website is smarthelpguides.com point your domain please point your domain to the new host server and to do so we, what we have to do is change the uh, use this name servers so i'm using namecheap as my domain registrar if you are using godaddy or some other domain registrar um, you can uh, you, you, this uh, you can follow the st same steps um, it is basically same so I'm using Namecheap so I will show you exactly how to do it in Namecheap and if you're using any other so, uh, domain registrar please post in the comments or email me and I will give you exact steps how to do it. So what you have to do is go to Namecheap.com, log into your word, uh, dashboard and go to dashboard and from here you will see the all your domains. And this is the domain smarthelpguides.com. So click on manage. And from here you will see this option of name server. So I'm already using this custom DNS. So if it is something like basic DNS or web hosting DNS, change it to custom DNS and change this to the DNS, which, um, which is listed here just uh, change it so now um, after you change this this will take some some time to um, sorry I should have pasted it then uh, click on this tick mark to save the new DNS options And this will take a little while and you will see this confirmation DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. So now we have changed the DNS servers. Let's go back to the hosting and um, okay so you um, so after 24 to 48 hours usually it doesn't take that long but um, once the DNS get updated your website domain name will start pointing to your new um, to the new SiteGround server and your WordPress migration will be completed.
to check this um, let's try to let's try to access what happened to our old um, so okay let's go back to the dashboard my site ground dashboard and go to website and the new domain should be listed here so make sure that it is there uh, to make sure that the process is complete and then let's try to check what it shows and let's I uh, will see the certificate here to check if it is still on the cloud flare. so you can see it's still on the cloud flare and I will try to access it from a different browser to see if um, I can access it on the site clone server but usually it takes a while so it is showing me warning because I have not added the SSL certificate on site ground so fortunately I can show you in this video that um, we have successfully migrated to site ground as you can see in Chrome it was showing the Cloudflare certificate and it is not showing any SSL certificate here because I have not added the SSL certificate in site ground so I will also sh uh, I will also show you how to do it so for this um, let's close this and it is showing a bit weird because I'm using some plugins to block um, okay it is no fault of site ground let's go back to the Chrome and go back to site ground dashboard so you can also check using a different browser and depending on your DNS servers it may get uh, it may get updated instantly so 